Well, welcome to this week's episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome back this week to another episode of Jim and Java. It's beginning to move further and further into January and we're seeing some exciting things happen. I'm already starting to hear positive reports from individuals who are having dinners and events in the spring, uh, seeing their numbers of table hosts increase. I've seen also some individuals who this is a first year that they're going to be doing an event. And it's really been exciting to see all that's happening in this year. I really enjoy coming alongside and helping answer your questions. If you aren't already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Just simply hit the subscribe button below and click the all bell to be notified when future videos come. There's no cost to you, but as our audience grows, it'll get out to more and more people and we will see our community grow and we can all share in the knowledge together. So please subscribe if you aren't already a subscriber. Well, let's dive right into our question of the week. Our question of the week is from Mandy in State College, Pennsylvania. And Mandy asks, we have locked down an amazing keynote speaker for a ladies lunch in March. Would you do tables of 10 still with just women? Having a table host invite nine friends versus four couples might seem overwhelming. How would you go about the setup of this with friend raising in mind? Well, thanks Mandy so much. Uh, I appreciate that question. Uh, I know that you are diligent in your efforts and you want to do the best job. And I appreciate so much your indication that you're working on friend raising and that's more important than fundraising. And so thanks for that question. Well, Mandy, if I were in your position, I would really look at a couple different factors. Number one, I would start with the size of the room because oftentimes the tables have more people at them because your room is smaller. There's a big difference between having a room that can handle 50 tables and a room that can handle 100 tables. Then you're going to want to make sure that you maximize those tables and you're going to have tables of 10, some even 11 and 12. It seems like in your particular situation, you're wanting to make sure that people feel comfortable being at their table with people they don't know and also they you don't want to have them having to invite a lot of people that may be one or two or three other people sitting with them would be the, the, the optimum situation. And so I would really see how many tables your room can handle. If your room is larger and you can handle more tables, then I would recommend having smaller tables. So in other words, I would go with 60 inch round tables and I would look at maybe having six at a table, maybe eight, but you could have a very, very comfortable event with six people at a table. You could have a group of four ladies get together on a table with four other ladies and that table could be large as eight. But realistically, you might even have a table of three and another group of three and you could merge those together and make that a table of six. So I don't think in this particular situation it's wrong at all for you to consider smaller tables. It would facilitate conversation better. People would get to know each other. And in most cases, you probably have got groups of ladies who don't know each other. And so it really would facilitate for conversation in those smaller groups where you might not have that in tables of eight, 10, or even 12 or anything in between. And so it's really important that you find out what the size of the room is, how many tables can you have. If you, if you had intended to have 200 ladies in the room and you only have 20 tables, well then you're gonna have to go with tables of 10, unfortunately. 
But if you want to have 200 ladies and you have 40 tables that you can get in that room, that means you, you could actually have tables of five and six very easily and there'd be no problem with that. Uh, so it's really important. Number one, I'm glad that you got a great keynote speaker. Uh, make sure you utilize the cause of your the cause or the organization that you work for as the driving force and use that keynote speaker as a way to in a way put icing on the top of the cake i'm not a big advocate for big name speakers drawing people but i am an advocate for utilizing those speakers when you need to do that so also use every avenue you can to market this for your for your uh your institution for your organization i would make sure that you use um, word of mouth through table hosts inviting people uh, but also if uh, if you have pockets of people such as parents uh, that you could have them invite their friends all those kinds of things really will help so mandy i hope that helps I thank you so much for your hard work, for your diligence. Uh, I know that you're doing a great job. And so, but I also hope that this was great for all of you watching that may be in similar cases with events that you're doing where you want to decide, do we do tables of six, eight, 10, or even in some cases, 11 and 12. So I hope that you benefited from this video. I wish you the best and I want to make sure that if you aren't already a subscriber, please subscribe. If you have a question for me like Mandy did, reach out to me at Twitter at Jim W. Dempsey and use the hashtag Jim and Java. You can also get me on Instagram at also at Jim W. Dempsey. You can get me on my email address at jdempsey0813 at gmail.com. And also consider joining our Facebook group. It's called Life Changers Community. And it's called that because we are building a community of life changers, individuals who are making a difference in lives of people all around the world. So I wish you the best as you strive to get fully funded in 2023. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.